Ants. Can you think of another word that has that ending? Ants. Chance. Chance. That's the word we're on. Chance. How about dance? Oh, crap. That's okay. Chance. Dance. Okay. A N C E. Okay, let's look at the word push. What did you say? Plants. Plants. It sounds the same, but guess what? That one's spelled different. You want to see how that's spelled? That one would be P L A N T S. Ants. Ants. Sounds the same, doesn't it? Is it spelled the same? Okay, look at the word push. What what does that begin with, Matthew? P. P. What's the vowel, Nick? U. U. Does that U say its name? Not really. You, now remember, U has kind of an interesting sound. It can say uh or uh. This one is push. Circle the S H. Okay. P U S H. Push. Okay, here's the word enjoy. Enjoy. Circle the E N together and underline that E. E N is a word beginning. N never stands alone. Always will have a vowel in front of it. So it's N. Does that E say its name? No, it doesn't. And then underline O Y. That's the vowel team that says OI. Okay. Does the O say its name in that word? It doesn't, does it? It says OI. O Y together says OI. Okay, and joy. It is. So, circle the M, underline the O-I, that's the O-I, and circle the S-T, that's the ending blend. M-O-I-S-T, moist. Okay, here's our next two words. These words are our band-aid words. Why do we call them band-aid words? They say ow. They say ow. O-W-N or O. W. Here's our band aid. Or, 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 or,
two E's together. Eight street. Good. Scratch. Excellent. Okay, Miss Connick, your turn, Betty. Airplane upstairs something. It Jeff. Is it Chef? Chef. Chef. That's the tricky one. Um wheat. Mm-hmm. Chance. Push. Enjoy. <laughs> moist. Clown. Loud. Spring. 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 Eat. Street. Scratch. 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 Excellent, guys. Good job. Didn't we already have... Oh, no. Mm -hmm. We've had all of these words, haven't we? Because um, it's a review lesson. I thought the scratch was up here. I'm like, huh. Yeah, it was in a different place, wasn't it? Okay, I'll give you a whiteboard. You guys can practice writing them. Read the words first. Mangle, tickle, bridle, swindle, muzzle, bulletin, difficulty, exclude, survival, franchise, ego, linen, minor, veto, vital, compliment, compliment, formally, formerly, Proceed. Okay, Mango. Let's start with you, Reuben. Um, and we'll just go around really quickly, okay? A, what do you see at the beginning of the word? M. M is what? Uh, isn't it? A, is it a vowel or a consonant? Consonant. It's a consonant, okay. And E, so. Okay. Mang. Oh. And A and G goes together to say ang, doesn't it? We have I and G says ing. Mm -hmm. A and G is ang. And it's a long A sound, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Ang. So remember we've got... And then what do we have? E Check and see. L-E. -E. -E. Yep, that kind of got scooted. But L-E is an ending at the end of a word, isn't it? Like cradle. <coughs> Freedom, you want to scoot it just a little bit over? Okay, so L-E is an ending at the end of a word, isn't it? Yeah. So when we scoop it, we say mang. Actually, remember we looked this one up, and it was mangle. That was kind of tricky. They broke up that A-N-G in the dictionary, didn't they? But it doesn't really matter. What matters is that we get it in our head and say mangle, however it's easiest for you. We remember the sounds m, ang, o, mangle. Okay. The next word is tickle, Jake. What do we see? I, e. What does it start with? A vowel or a consonant? A consonant. Starts with a consonant right there at the beginning, doesn't it? And then what do we see? Uh, I. I and e. I, and oops, we forgot to mark that silent up on that one. The E is silent, isn't it? Do you see a consonant blend in that word, Jake? Anybody see a consonant blend in that word? What do you see, Reuben? CK, right. CK. Nope, L-E is not. That L-E is the ending at, at the word part at the end, isn't it? The word part at the end. So when we scoop it, we say tickle. 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 Okay, the next word is bridal. Bridal. What kind of bridal is this? Uh, Remember when we talked about this? Like on a horse. Like on a horse, right. So what does it start with, Caitlin? A B. Like it's a consonant. It's a consonant, but is it's it just a B? It's, it's B R, isn't it? It's B R. It's a consonant blend at the beginning of that word. Mm -hmm. And then what are our vowels? I. I. G. And silent E. This one is actually I consonant consonant E, isn't it? It has two consonants. Does it still say the long? It does, doesn't it? It's a long I. So we have bridal. Bridal. What's the other kind of bridal that we've had before? 
Like the wedding bride. Like a bride, right. Like a bridal store where they say, sell wedding dresses. Okay, the next word is swindle. Baker, um, what do you see at the beginning of that word? S-W. S-W is a consonant blend, isn't it, that goes together to say sw, sw. Okay, what are the vowels that you see? I and E. I and L-E. It's L-E is our word part at the end, and the E is silent, isn't it? Yeah. So we have swin dull dull what do, when we hear the ol sound on the end of the word what is it usually l e it's usually l e every once in a while it's e l but usually it's l e okay the next one is muzzle freedom what do you see at the beginning of the word m m it starts with a consonant what are, what's our vowel e and u u and e what kind of e uh, silent. silent E. And L-E is a word part at the end, isn't it? <coughs> and we're going to scoop it. Muzzle. 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 Usually when we have two consonants that go together in the, be in the middle of a word, we divide it between those two, don't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ruben, back to you. Bulletin. What do you see? Uh, B. B is our consonant at the beginning of the word. Then U. U. Mm -hmm. Then E. Then I. Then I. Okay. And isn't the I wrong? Do we say bulletin? Mm -mm. No. We say bulletin. Don't we? Mm -hmm. So then when we scoop it, we split it between those two L's. We bull. say bull. Let. Oh. In. Remember we were joking around the last time we said when we spell it, it's like let the bull in. So it's bull let in. Okay? The next word is difficulty. Jake, what do we do? Circle let D. D is a what? Consonant. A consonant at the beginning of the word, right? Under hotline I, the two I's, a U. And the U. U and the Why don't you do the Y? The Y is usually considered a vowel at the end of a word. And how about T Y? We don't actually have T Y. We just have Y, don't we? So it is considered a word part at the end of a word, just y. isn't it? Mm hmm Because if we cover up the Y, what word is that? It's difficult, isn't it? So if we, if something is difficult, that means it's hard to do. If you have a difficulty, that means you have a problem, doesn't it? Is so it one of the you eyes? can take that word part off the end of that word, can't you? Is it you? one of the eyes long? You tell me. Do we say difficult? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So they're short, aren't they? So Jake, how do we scoop it? We say diff. Diff. Difficulty. Difficulty. Okay. All right. The next word is exclude. Exclude. Caitlin, what are we going to do with that? So you circle EX. Okay. E, EX, is that a word part at the beginning? Word part at the beginning, E-X, like example, yeah. you see that? Okay, so we'll circle that, that's a word part at the beginning. And E is what? And E is a vowel. It's E is a vowel. And then what do we have? U and U. E. Consonant E, e. don't we? What does the E do? Is it silent? It's silent, and what else does it do? It makes the U say its name. Makes the U say its name, doesn't it? And when we have a long U, it can either be the OO sound or it can be the U sound like in cute, can't it? Mm -hmm. This one, what sound does this one make? Exclude. Like sound. It makes the OO sound, doesn't it? So we say exclude. Okay. Survival, Baker. Um, U, I, and A. Okay, U, I, and A are the vowels. vowels. What does it start with, a vowel or a consonant? Mm -hmm. A vowel or a consonant? Vowel. 
Is S no. a vowel? No, it's a consonant. It's a consonant, isn't it? It's S, yeah. that's okay. And is it just the U or is it an R controlled U, isn't it? Yes. You've, you've only been with us for about two weeks, so you're not as solid on this. So we call this an R controlled vowel. It's U R says er, doesn't it? it they, they kind of go together to make one sound. Sir, vi, vel. What else? What do we know about that I, Baker? We're not scooping yet, buddy. Oh. The it's I long. is long. And how about that A L ending? Look at that, right there on the third one. A L. If we take the A L off, what word do we have? Survive. Survive. They, we drop the E before we put the ending on, don't we? So A L is, an, is a word part at the end of a word. Baker, so circle A L. So when we scoop it, we say sir, vi, val, survival. Okay, franchise, freedom. Okay, so uh, the F is a constant. And, and is it just an F? No, F R. F R is our consonant blend at the beginning, isn't it? Okay, what are our vowels? A. A. I and E. I and what kind of E? Silent. And what does the silent E do? Make, say, uh, have the, make it the I say its name. Makes the I say its name, doesn't it? So we say franchise. Who remembers what a franchise is? Do you remember what a franchise is? Like a business. It's a business. What kind of business? We talked about that. Do you remember? Like. Jake, do you remember what a franchise is? Mm -mm. A franchise is like when you own Subway or McDonald's. Remember we talked about that? Or 7-Eleven, something like that. When there are a whole bunch of businesses, but you just own one of them. Okay, the next word is ego. Ruben, ego. E. Starts with an E, and which is a... Consonant. Is no, E a consonant? A vowel. It's a vowel. And... Don't you circle it? Isn't it long? No, we, e? we circle the consonants and consonant blends at the beginning. So it's an E. It is a long E, isn't it? It says its name. What other vowel do we have, Ruben? O. We have and O and it's, it's long too, isn't it? Okay, so this word is E, go, ego. Okay. Um, let's do the next one, Jake. Linen. What's, what's at the beginning? L. L is the what? Consonant, Consonant at the beginning of the word. Underline I. Underline and I e. and E. And we have lin N. Linen. What does linen mean? It's a type of a material. Top, type of fabric, right. Okay. Minor. Caitlin. Minor. So you circle, you circle M. M then is a what? Is it consonant? It's consonant. And I and a circle, or yeah, circle OR. Is OR a, a word part at the end? Yes, it is. Okay. OR, it's also an R controlled vowel, isn't it? It mm -hmm. says OR. So we have my nor, minor. Okay? The next word is veto. Oh, Baker. Circle the V. Okay, why? Because it's a consonant. It's a consonant at the beginning of the word, and right. Underline E and O. E and O. And, and what else do we need to do? Both, uh, they both say their names. They both say their names, so we make them both long, don't we? And when we scoop it, we <laughs> say V, toe. We spell it like V2, don't we? V2 but we say it like veto, veto. All right, freedom, vital. You circle the V because it's a consonant. It's a consonant. Underline I and it's long. And it's long, very and good. A and um, and then it. Look at your endings oh, there and see. A-L, right, A-L goes together for a word part at the end. So it's vi tau, vital, okay. The next word is complement, Reuben. 
Do you remember which kind of compliment this is? Like, I compliment you on... No, remember we talked about two different kinds. Remember the one that's I oh, compliment I you has the I in it. What's this one, Freedom? Do you remember what that Isn't one is? Isn't it like, um, like a compliment, like math? That's like, like the complementary angles that we have right, right. So this word is compliment, and this is like when we do our angles, we were going to put our angle thing up there, and we didn't do it, did we? Okay, so what do we do? Okay, C is at the beginning of the word, but what about that C-O-M? C-O-M. Is that up there at the beginning? Actually, yep, compare, compare, right? Okay, so C-O-M is a word part at the beginning of a word. Then what do we see? Circle, underline, E. Okay, E and E. Do you see a consonant blend in there? P-L. P-L, right. P-L says pull. So we have complement. So when we scoop it, we... S oh, what about, is there a word part at the end? Mint. 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 Right, mint. So we have com... Complement. Complement. So we have this one is complement, and the next one is complement, isn't it? Okay, Jake, what are we going to do on the next one? Circle C O M. C O M. Good job. Then you underline I and E. I and E. And then you circle mint. Mint is a word part at the end, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And PL. PL is a consonant, consonant blend, isn't it? So we have complement. Okay. The next word is formally. Formally. So we have formally and formerly. Who remembers what formally means? This is your word, Caitlin. Do you remember what that one means? Mm -hmm. Remember? Do you remember? Is it like, like how you, is it like? Cover up the L-Y. Formal. So like, what, what's the word when you cover up the L-Y, Caitlin? Formal. Formal. So what does formally mean? If you are dressed oh, formally, you're really Thank nice. You. you might be going to a dance or something like that. Formally. Okay, what are we gonna how are we going to mark that one up? Circle F O R. F mm, is F O R a word part at the beginning? Probably not. <laughs> no. It is not. Sometimes sometimes it might seem like it, but mm -hmm. it's not. So we circle just the F, F because that's our consonant at the beginning, isn't it? What are our vowels? O and just A. O? A. Just O? O-R. O-R, right. That's an R-controlled vowel. And A. And, A. A. and then L-Y, or just the Y is an ending, isn't it? So we have formally. So if we cover that up, it says formal. If we add the Y, it's formally. So we have for mal -ly. We always break it up between those two consonants, don't we? Okay, the next one is for Merly. Baker? Uh, you circle the F. F is what? The consonant. Consonant at the beginning. Then you underline O and R. O, R is an R controlled vowel. And you also underline E. E-R. E-R. Very good, Baker. E-R is and also an R controlled vowel. Circle Y. And then Y is a word part at the end. Okay. So we have for mer -ly. Formerly. Formerly. Okay. The next word is precede. Freedom. Okay, so you circle the P because it's a consonant. And, and then, actually wait, we have PR. PR is our consonant blend at the beginning, isn't it? And then you underlined E, E, and E. E, E, and E. And what do we do with those? Is, are they long? Well, well precede. So the first two are long, and the last one is what? S silent. Silent. So, and is pre a word part at the beginning? Yeah. Right. Pre, remember we talked about that? It means to come before. 
to come before. So pre-seed. Okay. Nice job, guys. Let's go through and read the whole list. Mangle, Mangle. Tickle, 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 bridle, bridle swindle, swindle, muzzle, muzzle bulletin, 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 difficulty, difficulty exclude, exclude, survival, survival franchise, franchise, ego, ego, ego linen, linen, minor, 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 minor veto, veto, vital, vital Complement, compliment, compliment, formally, formally, formerly, formerly, precede. Okay, nice job.